And I'm Allison Croft. First, though, the war may be over. But the plan to get people out of Afghanistan, that continues. About an hour ago, President Biden said there are about one to 200 Americans still in the country. Many are dual citizens. Some, he says, chose to stay. But the president says those who want to leave will get help with safe passage through diplomatic efforts. No more boots on the ground. Already 5,500 Americans have been evacuated. More than 100,000 Afghans helped out. This afternoon, President Biden challenging his critics and robustly defending his plan to end America's longest war and defend us against threats of 2021, not 2001, as he said. Less than 24 hours after the last U.S. soldier, Major General Donahue, left Afghanistan, President Biden says even without troops on the ground, the U.S. can still strike an enemy. And to ISIS-K, we are not done with you yet. To those who wish America harm, to those who engage in terrorism against us or our allies, know this. The United States will never rest. We will not forgive. We will not forget. We will hunt you down to the ends of the earth, and we will, you will pay the ultimate price. But he says he will not send another generation of sons and daughters to fight in the war that we spent 20 years trying to end. And moving forward, decisions will be made with two things in mind. We must set missions with clear, achievable goals. We must stay clearly focused on the fundamental national security interest of the United States of America. Right now, the U.S. is coordinating with international partners to ensure safe passage for any U.S. citizens and Afghan allies who still want to evacuate. Americans that are in Afghanistan that want to leave and, uh, and Afghans who want to leave, they will not be denied that opportunity. But U.S. law enforcement officials confirmed to CBS News the Department of Homeland Security has issued warnings that extremists could seek to exploit the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan. DHS has deployed staff to assist in vetting Afghan allies arriving here in the U.S. The country can currently house more than 28,000 Afghan refugees at seven military installations across the country.